Well, I have another question for you. Yeah. Do you remember anything before you went into the coma? I remember everything from childhood. Wow. Everything came back. It, what happened was my neurologist and my brain surgeon, Dr. Mihonen, it, it's weird because I see him once a year, okay? And last time I saw him a few months ago, I was sitting in the room. He came in. And he said, hi, Randy. And I said, hi. He says, where's your wheelchair? I said, why, well, I, I think it's home in the garage or something. <laughs> and he looked at me and goes, well, how'd you get here? Who drove you? I said, I, I drove. He said, you drove? <laughs> now, Dr. Mihonen was the one that told my older brother to disconnect me. And when my brother said no, he later decided... Well, he has severe atrophy in his whole right side. You should cut the right leg off. And oh my goodness. Yeah, he, he suggested it strongly. Woo. And I was like, okay. My brother said, well, you know, you're never gonna have a straight leg probably. It'll take years and you'll never be perfect. And if they cut it off and put a prosthetic, you'll walk in six months and you'll run if you want, you know, no problem. And I actually thought that day, I remember, I thought, my God, well, I got to do it. I went to sleep. We always have our thoughts when we're asleep, my brother and I, because I went to sleep. I woke up in the morning and thought, no, I'm not going to do it to myself. And I called Mihun's office, the lay surgeon, and I said, I can't make it today. And he said, oh, well, his girl in the office. They, they don't talk to you on the phone usually. And she said, well, when can you make it? You need to do it soon. Your leg is, you know. I said, well, I've decided I'm not going to do it. And she was shocked, like, well, well, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm not going to cut my leg off. I want to keep my leg. And she was like, what are you, nuts? What are you, you're, you're probably never walk normal in your life, you, even if you can walk. And I just refused, and I got off the phone, and... I called my brother and told him I couldn't do it, and he was kind of shocked, like, what are you, crazy? I said, no, I, I'm not going to get rid of my leg. I'm keeping my leg. God wants me to have it. I'm keeping it. That's the bottom. I don't care what you say. And um, so I started, uh, I was stuck in a wheelchair, of course. I was at home, and I was on the Internet looking through uh, Aetna's doctors and surgeons, and I kept looking, and I couldn't find anybody. At the same time, my brother was looking for um, a leg doctor, and he ended up finding Dr. Uh, Dr. Not me, home, Dr. Haskell. No, he's my heart doctor. Uh, ah, Dr. I forgot his name. I can't believe it. Anyway, he found him, and he's a surgeon for children only. And he told him the story of me, and he was inspired and thought, you know what? And he's not even covered under my insurance. He's not under Edna. And he decided to take on my case to have an example for when he does seminars and different things with med students. He can use me as an example of, you know, and he worked his buns off. <laughs> he did um, two leg surgeries to cut That's the amazing. excess bone that grew where my hip was. Um, because it, for two years I was in the fetal position, oh not gosh. moved. And what happened was the bone grew the size of a small baseball uh, where my hip and femur meet. So I couldn't stretch the leg, it was blocked. So he went in, he sliced my leg open, cut the excess bone off a little out of my right knee closed me up and um, I, had, uh, I had to take a pill to prevent bone growth for six months and um, then after you know months he he said okay you know you're much better now now we have to you know um, that's amazing get the legs stronger and blah 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 so I got another question for you that's yeah. amazing that you made it through that one last question um, 
Were you, when you came out of the coma, were you, did you have all your memories or did you have to, was it a prog progress? No, I, I thought I just fell asleep. I got drunk the night before and woke up the next day. My brain was washed clean. My neurologist, um, I researched on the internet, of course the internet, and it does a show you can watch actually. Um, so you were will, like a baby, you were like an infant? Yeah, I was newborn mentally. My brain, what happened was, see the brain dies every day, no matter what you do, but what get info from the brain is the neurons. And the neurons grow with physical work. And what happened was, my neurons felt the 80 something percent dead brain and left it and grabbed a brand new piece. So when I woke up, I was a newborn child. I cried for about a year, literally. I, I cried and that. The second year, I was mentally like five or six years old. I would cry, but I didn't believe anybody and I didn't trust anybody. The third year, I was like 10, 11. I was in my wheelchair every day at home on the internet studying things like, wow, what's that? And just spending hours on the internet. And um, I acquired a lot of info in those first three years. The first year when I woke up, I was like a child, but each year after, I gained knowledge and ability to learn better. So by the fourth year, I was like correcting my surgeons. They didn't like me at all. <laughs> I would remind them of things, and they would go, no, 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 I don't think, that. and they'd look it up in the chart and go, mm, how do you know that? Like, I remember. They'd look at me and go, you remembered? Huh? What? And they were just shocked, and, you know, just, uh, I explained to them, hey, life is never ending, and, you know, we're always, if we work at it, mentally and physically, we can get better than we ever thought we could be, of course, we'll never be perfect in the world, ever. But I believe the goal is for us to try to be perfect. The Lord wants us to be holy as He is holy, perfect as He is perfect. With Him in us, you know, His light shines in us. And I would like to thank you for being on the show today because You're um, God's light in you is shining and I pray that you will bless someone and and if someone's faced with that question of taking their loved ones off life support oh no no huh. just make I'm, sure I'm you tell i don't i don't believe that, that he's an anymore my doctors yes, don't like me don't because believe. they say no it's not the i've saved four him. people already two that were in a coma woke up because of what i inspired with the, the parents i told them, no no do not disconnect them he but he's respond? brain dead. Well, do they know that? Well, they he can't respond. No, no. I was the same way for two years. Look at me. And they're like, what? Yeah. Well, um, just a little quick testimony. I was talking to my cousin this morning, and um, I told her about you. And she said, well, you know, Sheila, when I had my accident, I was in a coma, too. And she said she was in a coma, I think she said, for 27 days. Hey, one day is bad. Was she, it was induced, or what did it happen? Well, I asked injury? her that. She said she doesn't know. She doesn't remember. She doesn't remember anything during that time. And um, But she said, I am glad that I'm alive. And she said, my mother and all the, the church members, she said everybody was praying for her. Oh, yeah. And she said, not one day does she regret being alive. She says, and she has a beautiful little girl that she's, um, you know, uh, takes care of. That's right. And it's a possibility that she might be listening today. So, Lynn, I love you and God bless you. You are a delight to my heart and an inspiration. Awesome. And just like Randy, I pray that God will use your testimonies to bless other families. Definitely. And with that said, Randy, I want to thank you for being on the show. Can you tell anyone how to get information? I know you have a website. Yeah, it's um, all lowercase comadude.com. C-O-M-A-D-U-D-E um, dot C-O-M, comadude.com. Comadude. Okay, <laughs> well, we want to thank you. And She's coming in in half an hour.
All right. I will talk to you later. Thank you very much. God bless you. All right. Bye bye. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. That's amazing. Story. Truly miraculous. Yeah. That is amazing. Wow. <clears throat> yes, he's walking in his purpose. In the name of Jesus. 